Deuteronomy, chapter 20, verse 11. If they accept and open their gates, all the people in it shall be subject to forced labor and shall work for you. If they refuse to make peace and they engage you in battle, lay siege to that city. All right. I brought you three in today to discuss some missing individuals. Within the past few months, there's been a rise in missing people's cases, specifically younger women. And we suspect that it's something more than just kidnappings, so we need the three of you to investigate it. Eve, I want you on this one. Emmett Harrison. Him? He's probably a dead end, but he has a few notable connections in town. Personally, I wouldn't bother, but the people upstairs insist. Got it. I followed him for two days. Things seemed pretty normal. Groceries, baseball, long walks. But why the law offices? Isn't that where they keep the town records? What would he be doing there? Interesting. I brought you in today to let you know you're off the case. We found our prime suspect and we're looking into it right now, but I really don't think Emmett's our guy. You gotta put it on the back burner. Are you sure? I might want to take it's one done. more look. It's done. It's a lost cause. I'll let you know if anything else comes up, but for now you can go. Why would she dismiss me? I need to get to the bottom of this, at least for my own sanity. I dug deep into the archives. There's gotta be something we all missed. I can feel it. I scanned government documents till my eyes were sore. It's a shame how many missing persons cases there were to look through. I even went so far as to look through speeding ticket records. I found a particular ticket that seemed familiar. Emmett Harrison. A speeding ticket on a desolate road the same day as an abduction. Wait, and also, Old Man Daniel. Signed in, but never signed out on that same day. During this time, a lot of the archives had been tampered with. Could there be a connection? I'm not chalking this up to coincidence. I might finally have a lead. Him, him, him. It's him, it's him. Emmett Harrison is old man Daniel. He's connected to the missing persons case. He has to be. He's the last person that took out the archives on them. Old man Daniel is some sort of weird alias he has. That's ridiculous. I told you not to look into this and you have nothing to worry about. This is concrete evidence that Emmett has some sort of interest in these cases. It has to be enough to open up the file enough. for me again. If you continue with this, you're going to have to face the consequences of the administration. Fine, I guess you don't leave me with much of a choice then. Hi, can I help you? Hi, uh, my car broke down. Is it okay if I use your phone to call a tow truck or something? Of course, come in. My phone's in the other room over there. Hi! Yeah, um, my car broke down. Um, 23 North Mannheim? Yeah, I think I hit a rock or something. Yeah, that would be great. Okay, yeah. Awesome. Okay, thank you so much. Bye. The tow truck will be here in 15 minutes. Well, in the meantime, I made some dinner. Would you like to stay? Sure. You always eat spaghetti with chopsticks. I eat everything with chopsticks. It makes eating so deliberate. I would think you'd be a wine and steak kind of guy. No steak, only wine. Eating meat is so barbaric. You think so? What makes a human that much different than an animal? We just cage them up and eat them. Don't believe in it. 
Do you always wear that suede jacket? No. Do you always wear atrocious sweaters? No, I wore a dress last week. <laughs> my apologies, my neighbors are so loud. Uh, excuse me. Uh, okay. You need to come. Everything I told you is true. Everything. Please, please come. You know, snooping around isn't very polite. Well, I'm not trying to be polite. That was the closest they've ever gotten to catching us. Getting sloppy. I know. It won't happen again. I'm not paying for your mistakes. <laughs> 